afternoon. Many East Tennesseans are just in shock tonight after learning about the death of Billy Kidd. You know, he was a familiar voice on the radio for decades. Billy Kidd was a radio name and the one he answered to the most. His real name, William Willingham. You may have heard him weekday afternoons from 2 to 6 on 103.5. WIMZ shared the news on Facebook. They wrote, just remember how much Billy loved this community and the people who made it so great. Reporter Blake Stevens has been looking at his impact on communities all across our area. He joins us in the studio now. So, Blake, he was known for a whole lot more than radio. Yeah, radio was how he built and connected with his audience. It was also a vehicle he used for good. He used the microphone to raise awareness and money to help others. One of his uh, biggest passion projects was Second Harvest Food Bank of East Tennessee. Now this is video from 2012. Every year he would set up a camper at a shopping center to collect food and donations. That annual tradition started Black Friday and lasted 10 days. Second Harvest's executive director says he did this for more than 25 years. Billy's commitment to this community was extraordinary. The children, especially our Food for Kids program. We have eight different feeding programs in 18 counties, but his passion was our Food for Kids weekend feeding program. And he just didn't do it around Thanksgiving for 10 days. He talked about it year round to help Second Harvest feed the hungry, and especially the hung children, hungry children in East Tennessee. Now she also tells me Kid helped bring in more than 30 tons of food. He also helped raise an estimated uh, one and a half million dollars in donations. That's about, excuse me, half a million in donations. That's about one and a half million meals for hungry East Tennesseans. These are very large numbers here. This is just some of the legacy he is leaving behind, Summer. Oh, wow. Hey, Billy worked alongside a lot of people in his long radio career, as you can imagine. Coming up at 6, we are going to hear how a former co-worker remembers him on and off air. And if you're interested in sharing your memories of Billy the Kid, Billy Kid, WIMZ has set up a place on the station's website to post photos and tributes.